All of the problems I work through in my videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. If you'd like a copy for yourself, just click the PDF link and you can download a copy to your computer. Also found on the website are links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones here on YouTube that are publicly listed. They're also members only videos. About 40% of my videos are free and open. The other 60% are for members. If you click one of the members links, it'll take you to a page that looks like this, says members only content. If you'd like access to that content, just hit the join button. Okay, let's jump into the problem. Okay, we have completed our materials purchases budget. We've dealt with direct labor budgets. Now it's time to move on. It's only fitting that we're going to do an overhead budget. So let's read through it. Plural Inc. budgets direct labor hours for the first quarter as follows. There's our direct labor hours for January, February, March, and for the quarter. The company's variable overhead rate is $10 per hour per direct labor hour. The company's fixed overhead is $100,000 per month, and this number includes depreciation of $25,000 per month. It says, do an overhead budget for the quarter. Um, okay, this seems like it's going to be f straightforward. The only fly in the ointment is they've split out depreciation, and I'll explain why when we get there in our budget. But you'll see that the top part of our budget is very straightforward with the information provided. Let's get to it. We'll start with our three line title, name of our company, plural ink, name of our statement. We're doing a manufacturing overhead budget and this is for the month and or for the quarter ended March 31st okay so we've got ourselves a beautiful three line title now we want the headings you know the months are going to represent headings on these things January February March and the quarter and now we've just got to figure out what our overhead is and we've got variable overhead and fixed overhead so let's compute our variable overhead it's going to start by using direct labor hours which was just the given of the question that seems like where we start with most of these things just reiterating the given of the question 75,000 80,000 uh, 95,000 and totaling up to 250,000. So how much overhead are we expecting to apply? Well, it's, uh, <laughs> sorry, we'll uh, multiply that by our variable overhead rate, which was $10 per direct labor hour. $10, $10, $10. And so we'll just multiply these through to figure out our applied overhead our applied variable overhead so 75,000 times 10 750,000 80,000 times 10 800,000 95,000 times 10 950,000 and 250 times 10 2.5 million okay so there's our variable overhead what about our fixed overhead our fixed overhead is just given. It's 25,000 bucks. No, sorry, 100,000 bucks. I was getting confused. I was getting ahead of myself with the depreciation number, but our fixed overhead is 100,000 bucks a month. So it's 100, 100, 100. That's what makes it fixed. It's sort of unchanging here for 300,000. So our total overhead is just the variable plus the fixed. It's 850. 900, 1050, and 2.8 million dollars. So there we have it. Now, this is our total overhead. And the only thing I'm wondering is what about this depreciation? Well, it wasn't asked for specifically in the question, but we're very interested. When we do our budgets, we're very interested in cash flow. That's a big part of why we budget. We want to know if we're going to run out of money or not. And so I'd be interested in how much money I'm spending on overhead. And 
the thing I know is, is depreciation certainly would be a part of this fixed overhead cost, right? $25,000 in depreciation each month. But remember, depreciation does not involve cash. We debit depreciation expense, we credit not cash, we credit accumulated depreciation. And because it's a non-cash expense, it, when we include it in our overhead total, if we want to know how much money we're spending on overhead, we need to take it back out. So I'm just going to deduct depreciation. Which is $25,000 a month. $75,000 for the quarter. And I'll get cash paid for overhead. Cash paid for manufacturing overhead. 850 minus 25, 825. 900 minus 25, 875. 1050 minus 25, 1025. 2.8 minus 75,000, 2725. Dollar sign there at the bottom. Okay, now at this point, truthfully, based on what was asked, perhaps this was sufficient, just this total overhead. That's our overhead budget. But it's very useful, and I would encourage you, if you're given an overhead budget, to compute the cash paid for overhead, because again, we want to know if we're going to run out of money or not. All right. That's all for this video. If you liked it, don't be shy about hitting that like button. And uh, thanks if you consider subscribing. Have a great day. Bye for now.